Yang Nathab Chicho, what is what is your guess for length of bear market and global equities? What about crypto now that all institutions will be even less willing to get involved than before? Uh, good question, um, Yang. Um, length of the bear market if if things stay the way they are we're in a multi-year bear market i think we're going to in general see the trend go down uh, until the i guess you could say the 10-year moving average for the dow and the nasdaq levels off and then we might start seeing uh, rise up right and the five year in general right now we're at the bottom of the two year for um, the the stock market anyway mainly for uh, the Dow and the Nasdaq right and there's stocks perform differently and whatnot but generally I think we're on a multi-year downtrend that being said I don't think there's gonna be a fed pivot i don't think they're going to slow down interest or they're going to stop interest raising interest rates anytime soon the next one might even be a 75 it might be a 50 right 75 the market will continue to say pivot pivot <laughs> trying to pump this shit up right uh it, if it's 50 the market will pop up um you know it depends on there it's just it it, the markets are schizophrenic right now right but you can watch the trend um so the odds are we interest rates continue to rise and slowly you're going to see certain segments of society get knocked out until they reach the level that they're willing to eliminate from the middle class just the same way they did in the 2008 financial scam stuff like this i don't think the powers that be or shouldn't be a ruling class or the money money lenders money managers governments bureaucrats i don't think the data shows that they have that percentage that they can they haven't reached that level yet uh, it might occur within the next few months it might occur take two years i don't know their projections to the truth um, i'm not privy to that information uh, however these interest rates that have been raised to this level is going to be felt in the markets more so than it is right now that's my personal opinion now if they do a pivot and start dropping it then the markets shoot up hyperinflation kicks in takes hold and assets have value so people are going to want to move money fast right get into things solid right you're not going to be holding on to the cash you're going to get into things solid because you're going to about to see you're about to see hyperinflation so asset prices rising so you're going to try to get your hands on shit as fast as possible right i don't think we're going to hit there i don't think we're going to hit there tell the truth uh, but that is a possibility uh personally in my opinion i think we're in a global war right and that global war is on every front it's on a psychological front it's on an economic front it's on an emotional front it's on a military hard war front front lines people die in front it's on a technological front it's on every front and one of the fronts is the currency wars right so i think what's happening is they're gonna keep on raising interest rates in the united states okay pretty hard pretty fast because it's only going to strengthen the US dollar and it's going to strengthen the United States relative to the collective West the rest of the Western world right now I think the dream of a hegemonic world controlled by the United States is pretty much over uh, from the global perspective so what the United States has in mind is to control the Western world right so think of it as a ussr type of deal right control the western world so when they raise interest rates in the united states what they're doing is devaluing other currencies except the russian ruble as far as i know relative to the us dollar all right there's other reserve currencies coming on their way whatever shape they may take we'll see how long that takes to roll into effect but i think for the next couple of years at least we're about to see the US dollar get stronger and stronger and stronger especially relative to the euro to the pound even to the Canadian dollar right so I think that's the name of the game um, but as Martin Armstrong says I think 
certain uh, large cap uh, uh, stocks uh, in the US might see it pump up but that being said again there's multiple plays that multiple things going on right now and depends on your time frame disclaimer family has puts acquired puts on Friday on four companies okay these may be short-term plays they might be sold this week okay even on a Monday or they may be held on to for two to three months okay they're longer term put plays okay and they're four large cap uh, stocks uh, or mid cap large and mid cap stocks and uh, we'll see how that plays out uh, that's my prediction uh, I think we're about to see bankruptcies on multiple fronts for multiple companies as well okay so we're about to see multiple bankruptcies as well it's, really it's no one can tell you exactly what is about to happen um, crypto someone asked me a long time ago uh, what my prediction for cryptos were I think cryptos at the time were trading around 40,000 45,000 I said it's going down I wouldn't be holding uh, at around 30,000 it became clear that they were going to drop to around 18,000 and uh, at around you know a few weeks ago someone asked me what I, I thought and, and a few days ago I've been at People have been asking me this for a number of months now that the cryptos hit the 18,000. It looked like it was holding, uh, going up to 22, 24, boom, popping down again, and stuff like this. People are asking me what I thought, and I, and I mentioned if, if uh, Bitcoin specifically, because that's the market mover, if Bitcoin was going to hold uh, 17, 18,000, then it may stabilize, start moving up, okay, may go very high, but if it wasn't able to hold this level, in my opinion uh, it has a possibility to go down to 10 the first stop and the next stop would be around five or three um it still hasn't broken it decisively yet but to a certain degree it did. we'll see where it goes um, uh, if you're not in desperate need of money uh liquidity then an entry point into Bitcoin on a very very gentle level make sure uh, you're not holding anything on any exchanges right uh, cold storage of course right entry into Bitcoin at this level might be a good starting point or a re-entry uh, maybe if you know if you plan on accumulating you know for easy numbers a hundred percent of your position at some point right so if you plan on accumulating a hundred bitcoins or hundred of whatever point one you know the, whatever scale you're going by right if you were planning on going a hundred percent in then right now might be a good time to get ten percent in uh, if that will keep you happy uh, but it could go down more uh, it's a big question you ask, so I sort of give you my quick take on a lot of different things. I hope that's okay. Yeah, and salute.